how much does height really affect your weight? So when it comes to somebody's body weight, there's a lot of things to consider. And honestly, by and large, I'm not somebody who likes to get hung up on body weight in general. I think it's, it's a metric that it varies in importance from individual to individual. It matters more if you are somebody who's legitimately higher in body fat. But consider this, I am obese. I am obese according to BMI. So that's one metric for determining whether or not somebody is at a healthy weight, I guess. So I'm about 5'9", perhaps a little shorter, perhaps just a, a wee bit shorter, and I'm around 180. I I've, I've, haven't really dropped below 180 in a while, so it's like 180 to 183 or so. And yeah, about, I would, I would estimate maybe 15% body fat, 16% perhaps, maybe 17, maybe 14. It's not an exact science, guys. You'd have to cut me open to know for sure. But anyway, from all my research, all my strenuous, just digging in to the hard science on Google, <laughs> you can fact check me if you want, but from everything I've seen is for every inch a person has, it could influence their body weight by like five to 10 pounds, which is actually, that's a, that's a decent amount. And you know, that that's, you know, regardless of the body fat and the muscle and such, it's just like, you know, you're going to weigh a bit more. You're going to have more to your structure, the taller you get. So I'm not the tallest guy, not the shortest guy. I'm about average because when it comes, to, when it comes to your body weight, that's literally everything you got going on. That's going to be obviously your your bones, your muscles, how much water you have going on, how much water is retained, the food in your stomach, uh, perhaps even a little bit of your body hair, you know, whether on your body itself or your, your face, which I guess is also part of your body, or your head if you got super long hair. I mean, it's, it's not going to make a huge difference, but it, it, we're talking like, you know, perhaps a pound at most, but even still, that's something to consider. So... Uh, weight, I'm not saying it's useless, but it's not my favorite metric and it never has been. So that's where I'm not, a, I'm not really a fan of BMI, but this video is not about BMI necessarily, but still worth uh, mentioning in the conversation here. Now I'm walking the other direction. Anyway, so great example is you look at two prolific bodybuilders of yesteryear. You have Arnold Schwarzenegger, a taller gentleman, and then his very good friend, Franco Colombo, a shorter gentleman. So we have Arnold Schwarzenegger, six foot two, Franco Colombo, five foot five. And on stage, I believe Schwarzenegger was about 235 pounds. And Franco Colombo was 185 pounds. Now that's a pretty large difference, but they're both very jacked and muscular individuals. So the main difference here is going to be in the structure. Like Schwarzenegger is quite a bit taller. There's a bit more to fill out there. Um, there's a lot more to consider with the the height situation in regards to physique and just performance, athleticism. So this isn't the most important thing to consider, but still interesting if you ask me. So again, to reiterate, when looking at somebody's height and how it influences their weight, you know, it's it's going to be a little bit different for men and women from what I understand, but generally it's going to be anywhere from like five pounds to 10 pounds gained per inch. Have a good day.